Matty, with a, a win on the board, does it make the uh, make the week a little bit easy just going? Oh, look, it, it certainly um, has been a positive vibe around the place for the players. Um, as I said, it was a good reward for them for the work they've been doing to be able to get over. But you know, that goes pretty early, and we're focused on Gold Coast, and we've got to go out there and get the job done now. For the first time in a little while, we get a chance to go back to back with wins. How important is that for the place right now? Oh, look, it's, it's very important. I think it's a uh, good challenge for us. Um, something, as you said, we haven't had for some time. So we, we've certainly uh, reviewed the game Monday, reviewed what we didn't do well, what we did do well, um, and then certainly focused pretty heavily on Gold Coast and um, you know, try to pick a team that was going to go out there and compete and also reward the guys who, who got us over the line. What's the key to getting over there? Um, oh, look, I think it's just maintaining a real high standard against them for the whole game. You know, they like teams who are down the bottom of the ladder sort of drop in and out of game. So if you can maintain that longer, you seem to be able to get a chance to, to kick some goals on them. So that's been a problem for us, and we're going to see if we have to be able to maintain that for a little bit longer. Um, you know, they've pushed Destin, pushed Freo up there, so they're actually going pretty good. What did you use in the last 10 minutes of the game to reinforce it to the group that makes the team actually play well? Um, oh, look, I think just losing the, the inhibitions or feeling the pressure of, uh, of the scoreboard against you, just going on and playing the way we want to play. And, you know, we want to play fast, uh, exciting, go through the middle football. Um, we can't do that all the time. We're actually able to get that right. We've got our stoppage stuff right. Um, a lot of things come together and uh, that's why we've got some momentum going. Which yeah, he's just, yeah, he's, he's been a little bit sore, um, so look, it definitely it's been affecting him a little bit, he's probably been in some poor form also, so uh, he had some scans on Tuesday and Wednesday and uh, he's got some hip stuff and a bit of groin and just real sore through that region, so um, we'll give him probably one to two weeks off um, and hopefully he fixes up pretty quickly from there and we can get him back going again. So, 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 Oh, look, uh, I think we, uh, we, we've pushed hard with Stephen to actually get back into some pretty good form the last month and that quite hasn't worked for him and uh, you know, in the end I think we're hopefully going to come to a re resolution soon um, about moving. Why there has to be a transfer? Millets was just moved. Hey, uh, I'm not sure. The, the rules are the rules I suppose. I'm not sure why players we draft um, have to come under uh, transfer fees to move to other SNFL clubs. It, it doesn't make sense, I don't think, but you know, they're the rules in place, so uh, you know, whether that'll change or not, who knows. Was it the that commented last night that the deal with Boats pretty well stopped because you've had an argument with his manager, did you call him? Uh, no idea. She says that the reason it's all blocked is because you and Victoria had some falling out earlier this year. That's why it's not going on. No, I don't know his manager. I, actually, I met him two days ago in Peter Rhodes' office and had a great discussion with him about his plays, but that's the first I've heard about it, yeah. So, so where's that at? Um, oh, look, I, I, I spoke to him about his plays. He's saying that they're feeling great here at the club, they're enjoying it. Um, he's obviously going home over to Dubai and, and speaking to his mum about it and his sisters and uh, coming to the decision then, we're still pretty confident in keeping him. Are, are you bidding to keep him or bidding to keep him away from somewhere else? Um, uh, with knowing Travis, you know, money doesn't have a huge issue in, into it, so I don't think we're bidding for him financial-wise. Um, it's about, um, you know, where we're going as a club, and no doubt he's probably going to get some good offers from some Victorian club. So, um, but, you know, he uh, said earlier in the year, he's very happy here, he's a, he's a leader amongst us, he's the best and fairest winner, so we'd be pretty confident in the States. How do you feel about the offer of that uh, yeah, uh, look, I, I'm, we're comfortable. We've um, done the due process, if it all happens, um, with him. Um, we think he brings a, uh, um, a unique and a different uh, look at how we're drafting, which is adding value to what Jeff Parker does, who's an outstanding recruiter, and uh, we just add value to that over that period of time he's going to work for us. What will we get him over the line for? Um, I'm not quite sure. I know Keith Thomas is working pretty hard with him in there, so uh, I think it's a matter of what Matt's doing next year, perhaps, and uh, you know, how that commits to compared to this.